Well, when trying to go back to my base there, I was getting some really bad lag. So I've cut that little bit out and I've turned around and I'm going to take the long way around back home just to see if uh, the lag sorts itself out by the time we get there. I don't really want, really want to cut this video short. I haven't shown you much of the uh, the new guns in action and that is the thing I'm, I'm building up to really. So we'll see what happens. We'll uh, go around the long way. Hopefully the game will be playable once I get back to my base again. Up in that area anyways. And we can get on with ditching the inventory and eventually, eventually showing you the new guns in action. The sounds that go with them are absolutely awesome. Just wait till you hear those. Brilliant. But anyways, we're just going to try and make our way round back to the base as quickly as possible. As you can see, I've still got a nasty cold, I've got quite a heavy load, and I'm already exerted as well. So I think I'm going to dive up this way, take the back road. Don't really want to be getting into a, a fight with lots of zombies. Plus the fact I'm chewing and coughing every so often as well, so that's making us freeze for a split second every once in a while. There we go. Don't want to be having to deal with that while you're trying to fight off lots of zombies. Moderate exertion, I need to rest my legs. Why don't I have a bit of energy food in the meantime? See if that perks up a little bit. A little bit of a rest can pop in some crisps and we're ready to go again. Use me trusty baseball bat with nails to get rid of him. Lovely jubbly. Obviously, when you're fighting zombies, when you've got a cold, one mistimed a chew or cough, then you can be bitten or scratched, and it's basically game over. So you have got to be a, a lot more cautious when you are coughing and sneezing all over the place, and not just because of the noise that it makes. Just dispatch these two. Easily done. Still quite early. It's only 20 to 1. Just starting to get exerted again there. And as you can see, the uh, frozen rain is still in place. I don't think that's going to disappear by itself until after this game is finished, by the looks of it. But, never mind. It doesn't seem to be making us wet, so the game must know that it's not actually raining, even though it looks like it is in this sector. But I'm getting a lot less lag than what I was when I tried to get back here earlier. A couple of zombies down on the left there. We'll get rid of these and we'll try and dive in and get rid of some of this inventory into the cupboards. See, it looks like it's lagging a little bit, but I think a lot of that is also down to the fact that I'm uh, overburdened and quite exerted. Still managing to deal with these guys quite easily, though. Just the one left. Well, my back door's locked. No put intended. Feels like such a long walk now from the back door to the front door because I'm uh, overburdened and quite tired now. I can't run. To quickly get in the front door here. Close it behind her. Back to the relative safety of the base. Still coughing quite a lot. As you can see though, I've got quite a stack of weapons in there. I'm 
sure I've got a few more to join them. Some more M1 Garand bullets. Some M14 rifle ammo. Nine mil bullets there. Eh? Oh, did that just stack to the side of there? I think it did. I think I accidentally put some wrong type of ammo in. And it's uh, stacked at the side. Never mind. It hasn't disappeared. It's still in there. Just at the back of the cupboard where you can't see it. Get rid of those shotgun shells there. I'm sure there's some more of this stuff I can dump. There we go, some revolver bullets. M16 ammo there. Put that on there with that. Put that AK in there. Oh, is that a zombie coming to the front door there? Oh, yes, it is. I can have him banging. Hopefully he hasn't attracted any of me of my way yet. I think I've got rid of all the weapons that I want to get rid of into my uh, cupboards. Let's uh, get some of this food put away as well. Carrying quite a lot on us now. I think I could uh, probably survive just in this hideout and never go out again. For a good six months or so with the amount of... Uh, food and bullets and everything that I've got. I think I'm fully self-proficient now. But, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that's not the way I like to play. I don't like to hide in the corner and cry. I like to go out, explore, deal some damage. I'm trying to stack as much of all this as possible, but as you can see, even though that was two cans of red pop there, it didn't actually stack. Neither did those beans, er, uh, peas, sorry. So they kind of like, jumped off along the side. They're still in this container, but you won't be able to access it until you take out one of these six things. It'll then jump into the free slot. So I think in that kind of fashion, one container is basically an unlimited sized container and you can put every single thing into one of those but you will have great difficulty getting out what you want to get out because you'll have to take loads of other stuff out that you don't want probably to get to the thing that you do want if you see what I'm saying if not, tough, I'm not going to try and say that again oh Christ that doesn't look good, I came to the front door to deal with one zombie and it looks as if the whole horde is turned up. Well, I'm not going to stand there and try and defend against them all night. I'm already really tired. Really ill with cold. So I think I'm going to have to do a uh, late night dash. To somewhere else to spend the night. I've spent more nights in other buildings than what I have in my own actual hideout so far, I believe. Never mind. It's a good central location where my base is, so I suppose it allows us to do that, while still giving us quite easy access back to my base when I need it. Good little strategy to have there. Well, it will be if it works, anyways. Let's spend the night in this nice big house here. Very welcoming look, the front door's already open. 
close that behind her. Close this front door as well. Dive upstairs. Get on the top floor. Fuck no, we'll head back down the level. I think we'll work. Yeah, that just leads outside. And that's just a bathroom. And that's just one big empty room. So there's no bed up here, we'll head back down. I'm sure there must be a bedroom on this level. It's the kitchen. There we go. It's half eight, we'll sleep. Should have had some to eat there first, I suppose, but we can always have some to eat in the morning. Can't wait to sink my teeth into the new version of PZ when it comes out. There's some absolutely awesome blog updates up on the website at the moment, showcasing some of the new behaviours and everything that's in the game in the next version. That hopefully should be out really soon. Can't wait to get into that. See what it's like, how the NPCs interact with each other while I'm playing. See the new dynamics of the zombie horde. Should all be good. Obviously, expect a new series very soon after that gets released but for now it's morning time we're gonna have some lovely pie bit of broccoli why not needs to be eaten oh, got some rotten food here we'll get rid of those carrots we'll get rid of the bread anything else yep some more rotten carrots there And a banana. Another banana. So as you can see there, the trash can mod, very, very handy mod. Makes it really easy to get rid of stuff out of your inventory without having to eat it or drink it or put it in a box. Even though it is created by me, I do have to say it's one of my favourite mods. Shameless plug in there. But we'll get those hankies put them off hand. And I think it's almost time to start trying to make my way back to the hideout again. Hopefully that zombie horde will have moved on by the time I get back up there. Looks quite clear outside, we'll head out the front door. It is actually raining now. Don't really suppose that matters considering I've still already got a really bad cold. It doesn't seem to be disappearing anytime soon. little bit of lag again, held on by the rain I think, but it's still very much playable. We'll dive in here, try to dry off for a little bit. Zombie up there, I don't think he's seen us though. Yeah, I thought I'd clear those out, just double checking. Looks like it's stopped raining there now. Oh, and started again. Stopped again now, is it? Yep. That'll do me. Let's try and make a run for it. I 
not quite clear. All the signs look good so far. Oh, here's a one here. Right, let's see if we can get on with uh, dumping all this stuff out. I should keep it quiet for all about all of about ten seconds. I haven't counted it, but I think you must only get about what eight to ten uses per handkerchief. But anyways, we'll finish boarding this window up. I suppose I should have done these uh, street facing ones first, I suppose. That side one's got the trees hiding it as well. Didn't think that out very well, did I? Actually, I'm thinking, I'm having a look. I might have some bed sheets. Got a couple more wooden planks there. We'll get those used up first. As you can see, the little progress bar above me head there. Showing that it does actually take time to put up a barricade. Oh look, four planks per window. I think that was my last plank though, I don't think I've got any more. None in there. Let's put my katana back on. Just for a change. We'll be getting the guns out soon anyways.